Hey, it's Jens. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can transform any camera into a real microscope. Before I'm going to show you how it's done, here are three examples what to expect when we finish with our transformation. The most important part of our DIY microscope is of course the lens. We will not reach 100 or 1000 X, but we'll be able to shoot extreme micro as you've just seen in the intro. And therefore I recommend to use a macro lens with at least 2X magnification. When you then add cheap extension tubes and the Raynox DCI 250, you'll be able to shoot at almost the same magnification as this microscope does. One example, let's say you're using a 2x magnification lens of Laura on a 24 megapixel sensor camera. The lens is really sharp and you'll end up at about 18 megapixel resolution. And at the same time, at a high magnification on the microscope, you just get 2 megapixel resolution. And this allows us to crop a little more on our DIY setup than on the pro microscope. The next very important component of a microscope is actually the illumination system. It is very powerful and it can be focused on a point so that the illumination is extremely strong like we'd have with a flash but with continuous light. And the solution for our DIY microscope is actually pretty simple. You just need an LED torch with a zoom function. Those LED cost between 10 and 30 euro and as the light source can be focused it's a quite simple and cheap fix. And to recreate this whole setting, I've just used two glasses and a plexiglass plate. Then we just have to position our LED torch at the bottom and we have some similar lighting as we have on our Pro microscope. In microphotography it's actually very difficult to focus as the field of that is extremely small. But using the DIY setup makes it actually pretty simple because the only thing you need is a macro slider and a tripod. So we are able to set focus by using the slider and rotate the lens a little by unscrewing the screws of the tripod. Yeah, and that's the simple workflow how to transform any camera into a pro microscope. Of course, the magnification is a little lower, but as you've seen with the beach sand at the end, we are able to dive deep into the microcosmos. Maybe you're wondering why the colors of the beach sand are so vibrant. This is because I've used a lighting technique which is called polarization. So if you want to learn more and how to add this effect to your images, don't miss the next video because then we're gonna transform our DIY microscope into a pro polarization microscope. 